too for uh, guitar lessons. Mm -hmm. I got a buddy. He's so crazy. You listen to that Alex Jones? Well, that guy's an idiot and well, a liar. He tells me one day, and he believes everything he says. Alex Jones is like a con artist. He's like the National Enquirer of radio, okay? That's the problem. And he tells me, you know, he tells me one day, he goes, and he believes it. He goes, well, there's 10,000 um, 10, Chinese on the Canadian border ready to pound. I said, well, Jack, don't you think, um, don't you think um, the Chinese would give us, I mean, the uh, Canadians would give us a head up? No, they're in on it, too. You know? <laughs> We're sitting, you know where Peace Park is? You know? Yep. We're sitting there one night and we're smoking a joint, right? And then he goes, uh, we uh, and we're drinking some Jack Dennis. And he goes, you know, Dennis, he says, all them people up on the hill are after us. I said, what? He goes, yeah. I said, Jack, look, some rich guy is up there, right? You know what I mean? Right? He's got a beautiful blonde. He's got a thousand dollar bottle of champagne. He's got four lines of coke and he's got a beautiful blonde ready to give him head. You know what I'm saying? And he's going, yo, I'm after Dennis and Jack, you know? <laughs> No, I mean, are you crazy? This guy couldn't give a shit about us. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You know what I mean? But they believe everybody's all together. You know what I mean? You know, come on. Well, man. that's the whole point of the left-right paradigm. Yeah. You, know, you know, make uh, people argue and hate no each other and fear me, each man. other. Man, no one's out to get me. I don't think you they're out to get you, me here's either. Here's the thing I look at. They're, like, they're out to get the whole country. You know how they go? You know how they go? Um, well, they want to control the whole country. Yes. But you know how they go, lead, follow, and get the fuck out of the way, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't like who was leading, I didn't like who was following, so I got the fuck out of the way, okay? There you go. You know? But I had that choice, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like the blind leading the blind, Dan, you know? 75% of Americans think chalk and milk comes out of a brown cow, you know? But I, I was being facetious and sarcastic, but... You know, I've heard Jimmy that before. Fallon, he went out... In, in New York City, and these weren't homeless people. These were like people out dining and you know hitting the clubs. You know, people most that have the, jobs. Most were yuppies. They had nice jobs. They're college graduates. And he says he was asking, name five, five of the bills, five of the bill of rights, right? You couldn't name. One. All right, but you know this school shooting. Yeah. Where he said that that kid was like uh, wasn't a student and that whole. He's like 23. Well, I don't think he's going to slide on that. Uh, I think he uh, Yes, he is. He's full of shit. Huh? He's, he's telling everyone that he's just like everyone else and they're going to take down his channel too. Oh my god. Anybody can take he a fall. He works for them. Uh, he does. Big time. That's friends. his farce. Uh, part of the Alex Jones farce. Uh, the guy couldn't tell the truth if he wanted to. Oh yeah. And, uh, yeah, well I'm homeless so. Yeah. You know, that would be so but I go up to uh, Burger King in the morning and I plug, plug Oh, yeah, you could plug it in there. Yeah. Plug yeah. my phone in there. But uh, I'm thinking about buying like, a, another charger, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To charge my phone because if I go to Burger King and I get it 100% at night, I'm starting, I'm starting to run low. Uh, too bad. I would give you this, but it doesn't fit because the, the yeah. camera. Uh, I'm, well, then if you drop it again, it wouldn't break. I, I stepped on it when I was, I got up. That's how I stepped on mine, it doesn't break. I'm not me. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, the days are longer. Yeah. The days are definitely longer. Uh, I can't wait till fruit. I bet. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. I always enjoy my son in Colorado. I mean Austin's nice, but huh? Austin's pretty nice, but it sure is crowded these days. become a big city. I know. It's fucking now. I'll know tell me? you what I did. Well, I shouldn't. Put it's owned by the mob. Right. And, and they'd be over. Hey, hey, Vinny, remember that time we took that guy for a ride? You know, Richard Pryor can do it good, you know? Remember we cut his fingers off? Remember that guy we put in the truck and we took it? So Richard Pryor's, Richard Pryor's car broke one night, and they go like this to Richard Pryor. They go like this to Richard Pryor. Don't no worry, Richard. We'll give you a ride home. He's going, I don't need a ride it, it was a funny routine, you know what I mean? You know? Yeah. And the Italian guys, you know, the, you know the mafia guys were watching that, laughing their ass off. He did it so well. You know the voice? You know, he had that voice down. You know, that's the thing about skateboarders. You never had trouble with skateboarders. 
Well, I've never, they've always been real polite to me, that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. You know, in California. When I wanted weed, I always went to the kids who were skateboarders. And the kids who were surfers. They always had good weed, too. And they yep. always took the old man up. They would. Oh, yeah. Well, now in California, it's the